Well, I want to do another poem here in a minute. But you know, uh, people in life, no matter what they do, working, playing, most people, if they care about something, they want to learn more about it. And and like I said, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever you do for a living or want to do, even if you've done it for 20 years, if you're interested in it, you like to learn more. And there's always more to be learned. Been my observation, the only people that don't learn more about life in general are them ones that talk all the time and know everything already, or the ones that have their heads stuck as far up their ass that every time they blink, it tickles their pancreas. So I try not to be in either one of them categories, but hell, I may stray like everybody else. You never can tell. But anyway, I want to do this little poem for y'all and hope y'all enjoy it. It's called Cowboy Lessons. Well, the Y7, way up in Wyoming, right on the Colorado line, I was as green as a wheat field. Only been there a short time. Well, old Stan cut me some horses. I was proud of what I had. I knew in that remuda there was a few that could sure make you sad. Well, one morning in the mountains, that little baby mare, she was wanting to hump. I was 19, full of pride, going to show off every jump. I ran my spurs into her, going to really make a hand. Old Harmel bumped into me. He made me understand. He says, cowboy, this ain't a bucking horse, but I've got one you can spur. I quietly swallowed all my pride and respectfully said, no, sir. Well, the first spring at Pitchforks, I knew enough not to brag, but I thought I could short of her and Monty finally let me drag. I rode a wife and then herd and snared me eight or 10. I paid don't mind to how bad the calves was milling around a pen. Monty waved me over. I could tell he had something to say. But Monty, he had never embarrassed a kid. He just wasn't made up that way. He said, Cowboy, what about this calf dragon? There's something you ought to know. But he said it with all the respect in the world, and he said it soft and low. He says, catch the first ones you come to, right there on the edge of the herd. It was something I hadn't thought of, and I listened to every word. He said, don't ride through the middle of them. It'll get them stirred up fast. Some of the best advice I ever got, darn sure not the last. Well, looking up at Kenneth from my spot there on the ground, I could still hear old Festus out there uh, pitching around. I never got him started. I never had a chance. Never got a leg across him before he started to dance. Old Festus wasn't a outlaw. Just a colt I was riding that day. I stood at his shoulder and turned my stirrup, thought I'd done it the proper way. I said, Finch, can you tell me anything that might help me get by? Festus getting ranker to get on every time I try. Now, Kenneth wasn't famous for offering out advice. In fact, sometimes to get an opinion, you had to ask him twice. But my show had entertained him, and he was packing a grin, so I hoped I'd receive a little advice on how to win. Finch says, don't turn your stirrup on one that's picking a fight. Grab your saddle horn and tow it. Get on that booger right. I was thankful for that lesson, even though it left me in a pile. But them kind of cowboy lessons seem to stick with you for a while. <laughs> <laughs>